Great. Huh. Mount Pilates coming up. We're going to start seated today. So take our legs and extend them out long and lift up tall through the spine. Now this can put quite a bit of pressure on your back. So you can always set up on a couple of blankets or pillows if you like. We'll bring our hands up to I Dream of Genie arms, pull the shoulder blades down the back and we're just gonna start with some twisting. Nice, easy twist and back center. What I want you to be most aware of, right, is that I'm sitting nice and tall. I want to, I don't wanna do this. So if we can't sit nice and tall with the legs extended, you can always bring them in crisscross. Right, so we're really working up straight back. Nice, a couple of more. Welcome, Alyssa. Welcome, Kelsey. Welcome, Jamie. Welcome, Ali, Christine. We got Jen and Lynn here. All right, my friends, from here, we're going to come up center, bring the arms up into goalpost arms, twist, lean and reach, and come center, twist lean and reach. So I'm not dropping the arms out of goal post, right? Which means it might not actually touch the knee or the shin. That's fine. I want to try to keep the arms goal post, right? So the only movement is at the waist. We twist from the waist and we lean from the waist. Good. A couple of more here. Then let's take the arms out long, palms down, twist, and now we're gonna saw. So saw down towards the toes, twist, come center. Twist and saw and center. Twist and saw. Welcome, Tanya. Welcome, who else came in? Alyssa, did you sneak in on me? And twist. So it's our nice little warm up. You can feel the warm up through the arms through the torso, give me one more each way. Twist and center, twist and center. From here, we're gonna bring the palms of our hands together, coming into those prayer arms. So again, setting with the legs long, right? This is a lot of work through the torso. At any time, you can always crisscross those legs. Pulse out those, bice, um, those prayer pulses right there. shoulders, feel your biceps, a lot of strength just to set tall here. We got it. Hang on. Five seconds, three, two, and one. Now open the palms like you're opening the book. We're gonna straighten the arms out and bend the arms in. Trying to keep the elbows as squeezed together as we can, right? They'll open a little bit as we extend and then squeeze them back together. But try to keep them as close as you can. Sitting nice and tall, try to relax the neck. You can close your eyes here, really focus on your breath. A lot of arm work right here in the beginning. Hang on, we still got, ooh, I had to shake there for a second. We still have 20 seconds. I need to shake them out real quick, go for it. Right there, I'm feeling that, like super crazy. All right, here we go, 10. Nine. Three, two, and one. Ooh, shake those arms for a second, my friends. A little twist. We'll bring our feet onto the ground. Now hold on to your hamstrings in the beginning, roll your shoulder blades down your back and hinge back right here. So we're coming into this boat position with heels on the ground to start. We're just gonna open, tap pinky down, come center, other direction, open and center. Now, you know, I'm gonna give you options here. So heels can stay on the ground or you can lift the heels up for your open center, open center. You can even straighten the legs right there. So pick that one that works best for you. Heels down, knees bent, feet in the air, or legs straight. You got it right here. Just 10 seconds to go. Uh, you look great, Alyssa. Awesome, Samantha. Lynn, you got it, Jen. In three, two, 
and one. Go ahead and bend those elbows, come down onto your elbows. We're coming into our inner thigh, our frog work. So lean back onto your elbows, pull your heels in, let your legs come out at that V, your feet come out at the V. Push and pull, push and pull. Now options, right? I can stay here on my elbows. I have my thumbs kind of right into my low back for support. You could also lay this down, bringing your hands under your low back. That's gonna take a little work out of the shoulders and a little bit of work out of the abs. It's still gonna keep the work into the legs. So if at any time you feel better laying that back and down, go for it. You got it right here in and out. Now we're gonna add that straddle. So we take it out, we open, squeeze, close, pull in. Push it out, open, squeeze, close, push it in. Good, right there. Yeah, the abs start to really scream at you a little bit, or you can always come all the way down. So we're still working the legs, legs are still burning. We take a little bit of work of the abs out by laying down onto our back. You got it right here. One more, take it out, hold it out. Open, one leg crosses on top, open. The other leg crosses on top. So criss, cross, criss, cross, right there. Fire in the arms, fire in the legs. You got it, hang on to it, criss, cross it. Nice. Awesome, Tanya. Nice, Allie. Blair, welcome, by the way. Kelsey, Christine, you got to come on 10 seconds right here. Five, four, I had to bend my knees a little bit. Three, two, and one. Let the legs come into the butterfly position. Come on down to the ground. We're going to bring some glutes into this inner thigh. So as we squeeze the glutes, we'll come up. We'll squeeze the inner thighs together. The feet come flat and roll it back down. Now take it up with the knees up, open the knees out, and come back down. So butterfly, squeeze up, knees come together, drop center. Squeeze up, knees together, open out, wide drop. So we're making this little circle, sort of. Lift and lower, lift. And lower. So we're still getting some inner thighs. We're bringing a little bit more work into the glutes. You got it. Right here. In and out. Now take it back out and down, butterfly. We're just going to hold right here. So we're going to butterfly in, butterfly down, butterfly in and lift and down right here. Squeeze and knees come open lower. Squeeze and knees come open lower. So you're actually kind of rolling onto the base of your foot and then a little bit towards the outside of the foot. Squeeze and down. So if I turn, kind of giving you this, this shot. Okay, up and down, up and down. Now take it up there, hold it up there. Knees are a few inches apart. Glutes are squeezed. Pull the inner thighs together, try to tap them, and then open it out just those couple of inches. Squeeze in and open. In and open. So try not to let them open out too wide, like butterfly. We're really trying to hold it up and squeeze it in and open. Oh, I love it, Samantha. You got a little helper there doing it with you. Amazing. You are doing a fabulous job, my friends. You got it right there. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Good. Now let's take it. Let's squeeze those inner thighs together. Try to keep them almost touching and pulse lift. Pulse, 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 pulse. Right there. Inner thighs squeeze together. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Pulse, you got it, my friends. Hang on to it. Keep going. Nice. Hold it up there. Four, three, two, one. Bring it down. All right, we're going to take our right ankle over our left quad. So kind of like that four stretch, 
but we're gonna bridge it out here. So lift and lower, lift and lower. So the left glute starts to get all the work here. Lift and lower, squeeze and lower. Nice, squeeze and lower, good. Keep going. Eight more seconds this side. Oh, no, lie. 10 more seconds this side. Let's see my clock. Three, two, and one. Switch it out. Right foot down, left leg crosses. Let's go squeeze and lift. Squeeze and lift. You got it, my friends. You've done a lot of bar or barrio last few days. Ooh, you might be burning and burning here. All right, six seconds. Three, two, and one. Come on up to seated. We're going to take our quad work at seated today. So left knee bent, hold on to your left shin, flex your right foot, hover it above the ground, take it to the side, and lift, side, and lift. So as you're holding onto your shin, try to keep the shoulder blades down the back. Now, of course, you have the options. We do this in various positions. If you're like, no, I really need to drop to my elbows, then you drop to your elbows. If you're like, no, I really prefer to do this on the ground, then you do this on the ground. Okay, but I like to kind of change it up and play with a couple of different positions here. So as we finish these moves on each side, that'll take us into our break. We'll get some sideline work. All right, five seconds here with this one. Now pulse it narrow, pulse, pulse. So we're just lifting and lowering. So if you do have your left knee bent, right, we're not really lifting higher than the knee. We're kind of coming up to about a third of the way up, third of the way down, up and down, up and down. We got it right here. My legs are so sore from cycling this morning with Lindsay. Lindsay B, Whew. I can barely stand this. All right, slide it out to that L, pulse it here. This one gets a little more into that groin. And this is sometimes where I then need to drop down. Taking my abs a little bit more break. So you might just drop down to those elbows. You got it right here. Hang on to it. Switching sides in three, two, and one. Right knee bends, left leg straightens. Let's go with our L. Lift and slide. Lift and slide good. Nice. That's great, Samantha. I think you're below my screen, Lynn, but I know you're working hard. Nice, Jamie. You got it, Jen. Tanya. Alyssa. All right, we got 25 more seconds and then we pulse. Anytime you can drop it down. Usually I find I need to drop down because my abs just fatigue. So dropping it down into your elbows makes your abs, get your abs and your low back a little bit of a release. Doesn't really change the quad. Quad is burning no matter what. Three, two, and one. Pulse it narrow, narrow right there. When if you need to, if you're like me, right? You did cycle, you did Tabata something this morning, your legs are already fatigued, take a second, pat it out and then try to come right back in. We will get stronger this way, but sometimes we have to give ourselves a brief back off. I promise I'll give you some good stretches of our hips if you can stick around for Stretch Express next. All right, five seconds. We take it out to that side in three, two, one. Slide it out, pulse it here. I had to drop to my elbows. You can even drop down onto your back. That gives your abs even a little bit more release. It extends your hip flexor, so it doesn't have to work quite as hard as you lay down. So usually if I do a series, a leg lift series like this lying down, we do more. Since we're seated, we're just doing two minutes on each leg. We are so close. Three, two, and one. There it is, tap it out. And grab yourself a drink. Woo, that's some good burn there. 
All right, we're going to move into some side leg series. We'll lay on our right side. You can be on your elbow or you can start all the way down. We will have a, port, a point where we come up to our elbow, but feel free to lay all the way down. I take my right hand, I wrap it behind my neck. I use it as a little bit of a pillow. You can also grab a pillow here. Pull your knees kind of 90 degrees here in front of you, straighten that top right leg. Let's point as we come up, flex as we come down right there. Nice. So I don't give long breaks in here. I try to move you through different muscle groups so that we get a little bit, you know, kind of release in one area. Always, always, if you need a little bit more of a break, take it. Got it right here. We'll do full minute moves. Some of them will be going more into our bicycle next. So it'll be 30 seconds each way. Yeah, I don't know. My legs are just like, oh, they are tight today. Woo! Five seconds. Two. And one, now flex the foot, bicycle forward. So we pull that knee in, kick the leg out. Right here, trying to keep ankle, knee parallel to the ground. 30 seconds each way. And I end up doing about four minutes on each side. About six more seconds here. So of course it's working the leg in general, but it's getting a little more focus into the outer hip. Now, bicycle backwards. My mouth went work there for a minute. Bicycle backwards. So we pull the knee in and we kick it out behind. And behind. We're gonna be changing our arm position in a moment. We're gonna come up onto our elbow. You can of course stay where you are, but the purpose of coming on our elbow is gonna be to add a bottom hip lift in our clamshells in four, three, two and one. So you can stay right here with your clamshells, right? Or I invite you to come on up onto your elbow. And then what we can do is get a bottom hip lift as well. So lift and lower, lift and lower. This can bring a little bit more back into that booty squeeze and lower. Good. So we will end up being on this side for five minutes. It's four leg moves, one arm move. Little mermaid push-ups. 30 more seconds here. Lift and lower. I repeat all that on the other side. Nice. Feeling the glutes, feeling the hips, right? Abs are working, shoulders working. Five seconds, three, two, and one. And here you can slide on up onto the hand. We're gonna dip the knee, dip the heel. Knee, heel. Now you can stay on elbow if that feels better. Right? You can come up to your hand. That's gonna make the obliques work even more. And then if you are really, oh, I can't do it. I can't ever do it. <laughs> If you could get that bottom hand up, it never works for me. I'm too tight in that area. So I keep the hand down. So try not to put too much weight on the arm though, right? I'm really lifting up. I'm trying to have the arm there more for balance. I'm not pushing into it. Really lift up through the chest. It's gonna bring some oblique work in. You got it right here. We have our mermaid push-ups coming up. It's gonna mostly work our left arm. And then when we get to the other side, it'll work our right arm. Here we go, five, three, two, and one. So your left arm comes down, your right arm can wrap on the waist, the shoulder, or just hold it way out here in front. So if it's out here in front, it's giving you a little bit of help. It's the left arm doing all the work, but the right arm's helping a little. Or again, if I take it to my hip, or even to my shoulder, now my left arm is doing all the work. Maybe I had us do these. No, it wasn't Maria, it was Christine this morning in 30-30. I think she let us use both arms, so I mean. All right, hang on. Always stick that other arm out far. If you can reach it out in front of you, 
right? It's assisting, but it's still my left arm doing most of the work. So it's kind of like a spotter. Here we go, five seconds. We're doing all of that on the other side, starting with the leg. Three, two, and one. Woo. So swing that up and over. Take a little 30 second transition if you need a little ooh, four stretch in there. Four stretch of that left leg. And then we'll make our way over and down to the other side. I'm giving you kind of a 30 second transition here. With a little stretch in between. Come on down, knees bend, top leg point and flex. Point and flex. It was really about a 20 second transition. Y'all were ready. So four minutes. We'll have a couple of minutes left after this to get a little more work into the belly and the back. And you got 20 seconds. Bicycles are next. I'm not gonna roll today. I'm remembering to record everything. If you're coming back to Stretch Express, you'll remind me to record that one as well because that's one I'll probably forget. All right, bicycle it out. 30 seconds, one direction. So it is party month here at BFIT. BFIT turns six at the end of the month. So be on the lookout, switch directions. We'll be rolling out some extra special fun the last week of October, ending with a big B-Fit party style October 30th, that Saturday morning. We'll have some friends and family passes, some extra classes on the schedule that last week. And then also in about a week, you'll see all the official rollout for Mindful Moments. You can start to mark your calendar. Steph G and I, it's been like five months or something since we've done Mindful Moments. We just had a bunch of other stuff going on here at B-Fit. That is coming up in November. All right, my friends, stacking those knees. You can do your clamshells right here. Or coming on up onto your elbow. You can still do your clamshells right here. Or we can start to lift that bottom. So those are kind of the next two big events coming up. The All the party stuff, there won't, I, there's no like extra charge for that. We'll have like some friends and family passes. Um, all of that really awesome stuff. There is a little bit extra charge for mindful moments. If you are new, since we've done mindful moments last, it is, it is mindfulness. It's like meditation. It's really slowing down, learning to kind of turn inward, but it, it changes. It actually literally changes our brain uh, for the better. There's been lots of studies on mindfulness and meditation. It's great for anxiety, depression. It's great for just memory and our brain. So, so many awesome benefits for that. And you'll be getting all that information in about a week. All right, from here, right, slide on up or stay on the elbow, knee to heel, knee to heel, heel. My Texas accent in there. And then of course we always have signature series ongoing. So we, I think we're gonna kind of, we always do some big pushes of it each month, you know, just to kind of remind you that it's there, but that is ongoing. So if you want any more kind of one-on-one -on -one, or maybe you and a friend, maybe two-on-one, um, myself, um, who all does it? Lindsay M, Maria, um, Lauren, we all do, like Lauren does nutrition. Lindsay M and I can both do yoga therapy. Um, I do personal training as well. Maria does personal training. So if you're just looking for really anything one-on-one, -on -one, I really specialize in mobility. And I specialize in um, like anxiety, stress recovery, mindfulness. So any of that, if you want a little more one-on-one, -on -one, reach out to us. There's your, there's your advertisements for today. Come on up. We'll come in. Right arm comes forward, right? Left arm can be up here in front of you. But right arm's doing most of the work. Or that right arm can rest on the belly or on the shoulder. And you really get all of that strength right there. 
So I advertise these programs not to make you feel pressured like you have to do everything because my friends, we cannot do everything. But I do want you to know that we bring you a lot of extras at VFit as well. If anything, you know, if you're wanting more, wanting something different, we got you covered. Ooh, this arm is this arm's tireder than the other arm. That's not a word, is it? This arm's more tired. Uh, hang on, 10 seconds right here. We're gonna come into a set of supermans. Three, two, and one. So if you're comfortable coming down onto your back, arms reach long, legs reach long, the lift and lower. I can single side it. So alternate, alternate arm and leg. You can also do this one up on all fours. Right, right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg. And then of course, if you're taking the belly version, both arms, both legs at the same time. Just getting a little bit more work through the back of the body, nose is down at the ground. Hang on. Here, 10 seconds. Now, if you're on your knees and you're alternating side to side, you're gonna continue to alternate side to side. If you're on your belly, we're gonna take this into a little bit of a breast stroke. So we're gonna reach and lift the chest. The legs are gonna just hold up the whole time. So I'm trying to hold the legs up and move just the arms. Now, I'm gonna add the legs to it in a moment, but I want you to get the arms first. So we're like breast stroking the arms. Now flutter kick the legs. So this is some brain work here as well because we're kind of asking the body to do two sort of different things. Now, if you're on hands and knees, my friends, just continue with your spinal extension. You got it right there. You're still working all the same muscles. We're just playing a little bit down on the ground. You got it, my friends. 10 seconds to go right here. Hang on to it. We are so close. Nice. Three, two, and one. Now coming onto your forearms to finish up with a little bit of Sphinx roll up or cat if you're on all fours. Pull the navel into the spine, squeeze the front of the rib cage together, and then inhale, release. Pull the navel to the spine, squeeze the front of the rib cage together. Inhale, release. You can do this on all fours but we're just really focusing on the abdominal work, where sometimes, you know, we do cat-cow nice and slow when we focus on the stretch. Right here, we should focus on the squeeze. You got it. You got five seconds. There's only about 40 seconds left of those. Three, two, and one. Push back, child's pose. We got two minutes to stretch. And then if you're coming to Stretch Express, we will get more. So knees can come apart if you like, really reach through the arms, feel the stretch. I like to kind of anchor my palm of my hand in and then try to lengthen the arm to the shoulder. Lower my armpits towards the ground. Sure, really good stretch. And then come on up. So in these classes where we just have a couple of minutes to stretch, I usually kind of keep the moves very similar each time. Bringing the hands onto your low back, pull your elbows back, squeeze the glutes, press the hips forward. This gets us in front of the body, knee all the way up to shoulder. And if you want to drop down for full camel, you can reaching for your heels. So an arm stretch, front of the body stretch. right there and gently come on up. Two options, you can sit on your bottom and reach for your toes, or you can curl your toes under, walk your feet to your hands and take your forward fold standing. So seated or stand for your forward fold. And this just releases the entire back of the body. If you are free in five minutes, come on back, stretch express. We get 15 minutes to really stretch the body even more. All right, if you've been upside down here, gently lift the chest halfway, bring the hands onto your quads, pause here. We're just kind of letting the blood supply come out of our head. 
Then we can a little bend of the knees and come on up to stand. Uh, thank you all so much for joining me. I'll see some of you back here in just a couple of minutes or again really soon. Thanks, everybody.